Hey friends, it's essentially Jessie. Today I'm here with my top five new favorites. Okay, so it's not very often that I'm like oh, really excited about new fragrances and like five of them at one time. I mean, come on, these are all five fragrances that I've picked up since 2022 started. So let's get to it. I have got some stellar new fragrances that I am loving. Um, I have some of them on my tray intermixed with some other fragrances, but I recently did a massive niche and designer haul. I blind bought fragrances. It was like, I don't know, an explosion. Like I feel like there's confetti coming from the ceiling during that one or something because it was so fun. And this one is no exception. These are five fragrances that I picked up. I'll tell you a little bit about each one. I'm going to keep this kind of short, but these, I mean, seriously guys, like, I, I feel like a lot of people film their top 10 for life and then the next year they'll film their top 10 for life and it's like way different and I think oh, how does it change that much and then I get fragrances like this and I'm like these are why it changes that much so anyway let's get to it my I don't want to number these I just want to say top five and leave it at that like I don't know. I don't know that I'm more excited about any of these than the other because I'm really excited about all of them. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it at that. So one of my top five <laughs> is C Fiori. I wish I'd bought the bigger bottle. This is so good. If you like florals and marshmallowy, creamy goodness, like uh, gourmand white florals, this is a fragrance for you. Like I said, wish I bought the bigger bottle. It's kind of eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and then I was like, just, just get the small bottle. I never even smelled it. I'd heard so many good reviews of it, and it is, I think I just got lipstick on it, sorry. And it's just gorgeous. It's so pretty. The bottle is so pretty. It's pink. It's lovely. Um, does it smell like, so this is a flanker for the original Armani C, and I can kind of see um, I can kind of see, I'm so corny. I can kind of see that it is um, similar enough to be a flanker. A lot of times I kind of evaluate, like, is this really a flanker or is this going in a whole new direction and we need to just make a new thing? Um, I think that sometimes, I don't know, I don't know how marketing goes with that, but like, do you make more money if you put out a flanker for Armani C and everybody likes C so they just go blind by the flanker? Or do you make more money by people saying, uh, I didn't really like the original, so I'm probably not gonna like the flanker, so I'll just pass. And then, or if, versus if you release a brand new fragrance. I don't know. Okay, next up is one that I'm loving. This is Madeira by Omnia Profumi. Full fragrance review is either coming or has already come to a YouTube channel near you. It's divine. It's gourmand heaven. It really is. Um, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm not going to say too much on that because I did a full fragrance review. Okay, next up is Rose Trombone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. This is by Lorchestra. This is a rose it's a rose it's a rose this is a beautiful rose this is a full rose this is not like a soft fizzy rose this is a full lovey dovey embracing you and hug rose it is so good i love the packaging i think it is really cool very original um and it's just a full bodied rose. Like when you think of wine and you're like, oh, well that just smell, you know, tastes like light and frou frou. This is like so heavy and not heavy. Heavy is not a good word, but I think full is a good word. Like get your nose on rose trombone. Anyway. Okay. Next up, I have two parfums to Marley's. Don't shoot me. Okay. Delena La Rose. This is gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to do a battle between these two because these are my two, two of my new favorites. And they're both rose fragrances. This one is divine. It's it's divine. And I'm also going to battle this out between Delina exclusive. Because I really do think that there's room in your collection for both. But this has got lychee, bergamot, uh, pear. It also has Turkish rose, peony. It's just, it has all the things. And then it has soft wood, white musk, and vetiver. Like, this is signature scent worthy. 
I could wear this all day every day and not get tired of it, I don't think. Anyway, that is Delena La Rose Coaches. Okay, and then <laughs> my other parfum store that I'm in love with right now is Athalia. This is the one in the black bottle. Oh my goodness, it's got incense, which normally I hate. Um, rose, bitter orange, cardamom, iris, suede, orange, flower, <sighs> cashmere and amber vanilla vetiver okay so when i smell this i think white florals i'm not not seeing a lot of white florals on the notes so what does that tell you who knows <laughs> it is so pretty so i do get a little bit of the incense but athalia just I'm loving them all. Anyway, this was a fun, quick, short video on my top five favorite, new favorites. <laughs> um, I do love almost every single fragrance that I have hauled or that I've purchased since the beginning of the year. But these, these are like stellar. The Sea Fiori has been discontinued. Do not, yes, like run to get this. I think it, you could probably find it on Mercari and other things. Um, I picked these two up on Mercari and I'm glad that I did. These are actually testers and they have the notes on the back of them, which I am not like upset about at all. I actually really like that. So anyway, love these fragrances, love these perfumes. What are your top five? What are your top one new fragrance that you're loving in 2022? Have you discovered anything new this year? Is there something that you discovered late last year? Or is there something that you've had and you're like, uh, why didn't I like reach for this more often? I don't know. Anyway, drop that in the comment section below. I always want to know your scent of the day. I think I just made mine Athalia. And I hope you guys are having a lovely day. If it's Friday, happy Friday. If it's not, happy Friday. Wednesday. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, drop me a like if you are into top five videos, if you want to see more top five videos. Um, as always, drop me a comment, let me know if there are any particular videos that you want to see. Smell you later.